Hello friends, today I'm going to show you how to install and configure HAProxy as a load balancer for web services on CentOS 7. Before I start HAProxy configuration and installation, let me just give you the brief of HAProxy. HAProxy is a free open source software that provides high availability load balancer and a proxy software for TCP and HTTP based applications that spread, ac spread the request across multiple servers. It is written in C and has a reputation for, reputation for being a fast and efficient. HAProxy is used in number of high profile websites such as GoDaddy, GitHub. Before I start the installation again, uh, let me just give you the basic concept of HAProxy. HAProxy runs on the two layers of OSI model. The fourth layer that is TCP layer an application layer that is the seventh layer HA proxy has different types of bal uh, algorithms used for balancing the first algorithm it is used its balance algorithm the second one is a round robin then last connection this source and if you want more algorithm you can check the website HA proxy for more details uh, in this tutorial we are going to guide you how to install and configure HAProxy with one load balancer and three Apache web servers using balance balance algorithm we are going to use CentOS 7 and we are going to use one load balancer server the load balancer server's host name is LB01 and the IP address is 192.168.2.110 the web server it is web01 the second web server is web02 and third web server is web03 we are first going to install the HA proxy and then we are going to add the configuration add the uh, add the parameters in the configuration file then we are going to configure rcs log we are going to update the rcs log file and then we are going to create one more uh, HA proxy configuration file so that we can get the logs in more details now we have logged into the load balancer the host name is lb01 and you can see that ip address 110 i have updated the etc host also so that this will be useful for us Now I will log into the web01 and confirm whether the IP address and host names are correct. You can see the web01 IP address and host name, they are correct, which I have mentioned in the configuration file also. Sorry, in etc host. now we are going to install HA proxy soft package I will take the backup of this file. We will move this file completely so that uh, we will create a new file and we will do the changes in it. You can see that the file I have paged the entry. The in the configuration file, uh, this file is divided into three. Uh, three stages first is the global stage where all the global entries has been added the second is the default stage where uh, you can see the timeout sessions and the last one is where the web server and the configuration is given 
here we are going to use the uh, we are going to use the balance round robin and you can see that the IP address uh, and the host names see over here let's save the file now we are going to configure the RCS log agent We are go. We are going to update the UDP reception, and now we are going to provide the server name. Let's save this file. Now we will uh, create a file where we can tell the logs what to write. you can see the uh, access logs and information logs it will create two files the access log and the information log now we are going to restart the rcs log engine so that the hf proxy will start writing We'll check the status of RCS log. It is up and working fine. There are no errors. Now we'll start the HA proxy ser service. Now we'll enable it so that when the system is rebooted next time, it will automatically start. We'll check the status of HA proxy. You can see that the proxy file is up and running fine now. Now we are going to configure the web services. Now we are on the web01 server. Now we will install Apache. It is httpd. And we will just create one index file which will contain the host name. This is a small command to create one index file. Now we will start the Apache service. First we are enabling it and then we will start the Apache service on web01 server. the status whether the service is up and working fine we we'll repeat the same steps on web 02 and web 03 
we have completed it on web 02 now we will configure the same service again on web 03 Now we have completed the configuration. So these are the steps that we have followed. Now we will check the status, how the services are running up and or not using the web service. The first web service is one nine on the, the let's check the first web server. You can see that the first web server is running up and fine let's check the second web server you see the second server is also up and running fine let's check the third web server then the third web server is also up and running fine now we let's check use the load balancer ip address you can see the load balancer ip address we have used the load balancer and the traffic has flown to web 03 i will click on refresh you can see the traffic has moved to load zero node on the second web server now on the first web server you can see when i refresh it's automatically moved to the different web servers so here our apache load uh, hf proxy configuration is completed but now we will configure we need that report also the how does it works in everything so i will show share the same thing also for reporting also we are going to use the same file the hf proxy configuration and I have already updated this file. I will show you what are the things. I have added a new listener and uh, enable the refresh and everything. This is the username password and this is the URI. But before doing anything, I will just do add a wrong IP address so that we can see what kind of error we are getting. Now I will restart the HA proxy service. First let's check the status before restarting it. Okay, I have typed the wrong host name. Yeah, you can see it was running up and fine, but now I will restart the service. I have restarted the service. Now let's check the status. Now you can see that the uh, service is inactive, dead, because there is a, there are some configuration issues on this server. To check how to resolve the configuration issues, uh, HA proxy itself, uh, the command itself will help us out. You can see over here. This is the command that will help us out to identify what are the issues. You can see this IP address is a wrong IP address. It cannot bind to the socket. So that's the reason it cannot start the service. Now we will correct the IP address. It's saved. Now we are going to restart. Now you are going to check the status of HA proxy. You can see that HA proxy is up and working fine. So 
you can see the status page has opened and uh, if you ref uh, just a minute I will do some entry so that we can see the stati static report you can see there is no value over here now when I refresh I will get some values and uh, in log files you can see tail hyphen f the log files are also getting generated mm. no. thank you uh, here we complete our HF proxy installation and configuration thank you